Well, hello everyone. I am Fracture, and this is Let's Play Sacred on the PC. So, where are we? We've pretty much just started the game, sort of for the second time. I played to level 5, at the bronze level, easy, and then imported my level 5 character back to the start of the game in silver level, sort of medium. And that seems to be a good choice so far. Let's see if it continu continues to be so. So it looks like my next quest is this one called Messenger. And... Oh, there's something called the Book of Wisdom as well, but let's let's go check out this Messenger. Oh right, I remember what the Book of Wisdom was. Ah, uh, there we are. A drunken veteran. Hey, you! Here's a treasure map for you. I'm too old and shick, all dead. The whole company, just me and the pay I never got. Damn orcs! I am not drunk. The light is show bright, shining light. All I right. will run this errand and be back soon. Be sure to have your purse ready then, because nothing in life is free. So that wasn't the messenger. The messenger's either in the pub. It's a little hard to tell. I think he is actually. Let's head inside the pub. There he is. Reinhold of Tara, you are carrying a message of prime importance, but the contents is none of your business. Political intrigue between the noble houses of De, Mo De Mordre and Littery. Take this for your services and farewell. Okay, again, I think I just got a bit of cash. Well, let's head north a bit and resolve this Book of Wisdom issue. And, ooh, I also found something out. I don't know if this is unique to this character. I kind of think it is, because I don't remember it on the other characters. But when it says Battle Demon Assail, it's actually, when I choose this power, I'm actually turning into a Battle Demon. So I'm actually sort of transmogrifying, or whatever you want to say. And while in that mode, I get to use a different skill if I fire it off called Assail, which is a powerful hit. Same with this, and actually it's the same with all of them. It's not what I thought it was. All of these skills along here have two modes. So here I turn into a battle mage, and I have a hard hit, increase combat values, and allow for harder physical attacks. Here, when I am flying, oh, that's charge bolt. Uh, let's see, I think I fire off actually an electrical discharge that can hit multiple creatures. This is the one where I learned it on. When I turn into a soaring demon, when I'm flying, if I fire it off again, I don't descend. It doesn't stop me flying. I do a dive attack. So each of these has sort of two modes. I switch to a different type of demon, and then I have this secondary mode I can use. So, learn something new. Uh, I seem to be trapped behind a fence here. Uh, hmm. There we are. So let's see if we can make use of that. So yeah, you can see I actually change appearance slightly. Count Marcus of Silver Creek, help me, my daughter Adelina failed to return from a ride. Please search for her in the old ruins south of the Silver Creek and bring her safely home. She loves this abandoned spot. And although she has been perfectly competent with a bow and arrow since her time at the court of Baroness Villa of Marscarel, I am worried because it is said excuse me, that rabid wolves will attack both rider and horse. Please find her before something terrible happens to her. It seems this mission involves violence. I'm in. And again I'm stuck behind a fence. Okay. Yeah, I saw that coming. I was trying some new things. Okay, I get it. You're dead. I get it. Let's reload, though. And 
try this again, this time with more skill. I was trying that secondary attack, and that was probably a bad choice of time to actually try that. Let's get rid of these two quick quests. And something else I learned as well... Okay, Even though that. this sounds about as exciting as watching paint dry, I am in. So that takes care of those two. The other thing I found out is these skills are keyboard character uh, keyboard one through five, so I can change one, two, three, four, five when I get more slots, and these are six through zero. So there is a quick key for these. I wish I could remap it, but hey, you can never have everything, can you? I detest serving others, but I will make an exception this time. So let's see if we can do this without rapidly dying this time. Let's get rid of these guys. The likes of you deserve to be crushed. So I don't know what we just killed there. It looked like some sort of team, but it got me the level up. I'm just waiting for this to power down so I can recharge it. There we go. Like one of these goblins route, rooted me to the ground. Your pitiful vermin could not stop me, and neither will you. Okay, uh, time to save, you think, after that little adventure? Okay, so let's... Ah. Ouch. Ouch again. I guess I need to pay a little more attention to how many... Ah, uh, there's the Compendium of Wisdom. That would explain why he was so tough. I still... well, I... I still seem to be doing okay with my health potions, but I noticed my large health potions are gone now, and I didn't drink them, so... I don't know how it selects when you just hit space to drink a potion. I don't know what it chooses to select, which potion to drink, whether it drinks the most powerful first or what. This must be the Ankarian center of boredom. <laughs> uh, a good thing for your sales pamphlet to get visitors to your city, is it not? The reason I came in here is this, this strange cave within the house. And that would be it right there. Let's go take a peek. <laughs> Spectral energy beam being. Something tells
tells me I should probably use probably use one of my skills that converts my attacks to fire or something like that. I'll probably do better. Although I'm not doing poorly. And I found out what this potion of undead death does. As you probably saw earlier in the video, when you're fighting undead, you have to fight them five or six times before they finally explode and truly die. They die four or five times sometimes more. If you drink a potion of undead death for a little while at least, they die on the first kill. So that's what that does. deal is with this basement, but when in doubt, kill everything that moves. I was kind of hoping this would recharge a bit. Guess I gotta go around the long way. Good. He's blocking an awful lot of my attacks. Not all of them, though. Uh, what I thought to be a strange looking chest is actually just a range hood. So, I have a vague recollection of this basement, and there was more to it. I think this is the location of a future quest. So I think I'll be back here. So that resolves one of the quests, doesn't it? Oh yes, the magician. Uh, again, they got the better of me. And by the better of me, I mean they had the sense to run away before my sort of area of effects spell took complete hold. armor. And then back to the magician and do my level up. So this is where we learn about combat skills. Many thanks to you for returning my books. I would be lost without them. Now again I can teach combos for more efficient fighting. Would that I could teach for free, but I have to live on something. An adventure such as you would surely desire more immediate reward. With my undying gratitude, take these 500 gold pieces and this rune to compensate for you for your troubles. So, so here we go. So as I recall, the way this works is I can take multiple combat arts. So I could say I want to do a call of death. Firstly, pull a combo rune into this slot. So I guess I need a combo rune. Do I have a combo rune? Probably not. We'll worry about it later. Oh, is that this? Come on. No? Okay, well, I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay, so we do that. We pull this combo rune. All right. And then we can take things like I could put Dread here. That cost me 200 gold. I could also fire this off, this off, 
and this off. So when I then I can drag this resulting rune down here and when I fire it off I can't remember if he does them all in or she I guess I can't remember if she fires them off all in quick succession or by doing this one cast and I get all four of these at the same time so that's what's happening there but I'm not gonna bother at the moment so 11 so that's better. Let's go and find someone to buy my stuff. And there's the vendor. Get rid of some of this stuff. So I don't think I need this. Don't need that. Get rid of that. Don't need that. I think the one I have is better. King Gauntlets, 382, 408, so what's the difference? 13% to attack, 7% to attack. Alright. And you can see I didn't put a lot of thought into that. So this chance to trap flying opponents is actually quite useful as I recall. If you manage to fire it off on a weapon or as a skill that the Dark Elf can use. The flying opponent actually stops flying, drops to the ground for a moment, if I remember. It's been a long time. And then it's easy to attack, rather than having it darting around flying and that sort of thing. So I might keep that in chance that I'll put it in a weapon later. But some of these I think I'll just sell Percentage to all resistance is 10%. I think I'll keep that. Experience gain from monsters, 3%. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be worrying about that. And Call of Death, of course. Energy Demon. Banish Undead, plus 2. That's kind of nice. I think that's the chance that you'll kill them outright instead of having to kill them 5 times. So I think I'll keep that one. Let's see. I don't have that yet, do I? What was it called? Sorry. Energy Demon. I think I do have it. Current level 1. Yep, it, it improves considerably. So, I will use it. So the only one outstanding at the moment is Poison. So far, so good. Let's have a chat with this guy in terms of... I don't 